Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top favorite applications in the App Store. Let's begin. My first application is an application called Evernote. Evernote is an application that allows you to take notes of pretty much everything you'd like. It is currently in the App Store for free, and I'd recommend you go getting it now. It is also one of the top apps in the App Store. Evernote is located in the top of your menu bar and in the bottom of your dock. One of the nice things about Evernote is it has the ability to play in a nice full screen. This application is very easy to maneuver around. Just with a couple of clicks, you can have your very own note. You can also customize it to have a checkbox, which is very handy. In Evernote, you have the ability to email your note, using your iSight camera to record your note, and even syncing your notes to your iPod or iPhone. Using Evernote, you have the option to copy text off of a web browser and then directly upload it to Evernote. My second application is another free application called Caffeine. You can find Caffeine in the App Store. Caffeine is a small application that is located in the top of your menu bar. It looks like a coffee cup. By clicking on the coffee cup, it disables your Mac from dimming. By right clicking on the coffee cup, you have some preferences. You can change them however you'd like. It's all up to you. Also by right clicking, you can change how long your screen is dimmed for. I like to keep mine on indefinitely. Alfred is another great free application, which is my next application in my video. Alfred is like a search engine, kind of like the one in the top right of your screen called Spotlight. This allows you to search for pretty much anything on your Mac. By hitting certain keys, you open up Alfred. In Alfred, you can search for pretty much anything. Alfred pretty much allows you to run your Mac without even using a mouse or trackpad. Alfred can also do math equations. It can even do definitions. It shows results for Google, Wikipedia, or even Amazon. As you can see, it opened directly to Wikipedia, just on the words that I typed in. In the top of your menu bar, you can see a small black hat. That is the Alfred icon. By clicking on it, you can open up Preferences. Here, you can change all your default and general options. In Features, you can change all your default searches, such as Documents, Folders, Images, etc. You can also change the appearance of how it looks. My next application is a pretty familiar and free application called Twitter. Twitter allows you to keep up with all your favorite YouTubers or friends. Twitter is located in two places, in the menu bar and in the dock. When opening Twitter, you have a nice, small page. Here you can find your timeline, mentions, messages, lists, profile, and even a search bar where you can find all your friends. Above in the menu bar, you can find some different options. To make a new tweet, just go to File, 
new tweet. Tweeting is that easy. You can also go to your preferences. Here, you can find all of your settings, such as showing it in the menu bar, having different accounts, and changing your notifications, which are also open in the menu bar. My last application is a paid application. It's called Angry Birds, which is the top game in the App Store so far. It is currently for $4.99, but it's worth it. If you have played Angry Birds on the iPod or iPhone, it is a lot alike, and the graphics are unbelievable. When you open up Angry Birds, this is your main menu. Just hit play to start. You have different levels. I'm going to go to the first one, since that's the only one I have. To move your bird, just drag your finger back on the trackpad. You can move up or down. To adjust the speed, just move your finger forwards or backwards. When you release, click to shoot your ability. Different birds have different special abilities. Your objective is to get all of the green dudes. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know, what's your favorite applications?